Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Today I wanted to touch base with a quick little issue that I've been uh, kind of addressing. And that is switching over from controller on Call of Duty to mouse and keyboard. I've been using both on PC right now just because it's just one of those things that is more natural to me. I've been playing Call of Duty for so long using controller. So my movement is kind of stiff on PC using WASD. Plus, um, I will say one advantage, one advantage of a controller is that you have full range of motion uh, as far as your character's feet go. Um, as far as mouse, you have a way more superior aiming advantage when you go to ADS and where their head goes. But when, let's say I want to move diagonally to the left, I would have to hold W and A at the same time um, for that guy to go diagonally to the left. And if I wanted to shift it over to the left or right of that a little bit, I wouldn't be able to. So I just wouldn't be able to actually move them because there's no, there's no key for in between those. Um, but overall, I feel like I actually... I don't aim as good with the controller, but I feel like I actually play the game better with controller, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm trying to work my way over to switch to full mouse and keyboard. It's just tricky, man. It's a tricky situation. So some of my experiences when I'm using mouse and keyboard, I'll tell you the kind of the breakdown of how it's been working for me. When I'm using mouse and keyboard, I can f like you feel like you're really in the game, like you're really immersed. Um, my aim is like A1 as far as like where I want to aim is where it's going. Like that's where the shots are going. Sometimes people have faster reaction times than me or in comparison to me. But that is what it is. I'm not the fastest you know, the fastest gun in the West. So um, for me, it's like whatever. And when it comes to movement, that's kind of like something that's lacking. I'm not the best at moving around. There's a lot of buttons instead of just a few. Uh, so you got like space bar for jump, shift. There's a lot of keys that you got to remember to press. So... For me, that's kind of like one of the trickier things that, you know, I used to type looking down. So completely using a keyboard without looking at it is is something foreign uh, up until last year when I got PC, you know, but we're making it work. It's, it's, it's working out well so far. And then I'll talk a little bit about when I got into a controller on this. It's it's a it's an experience on its own, man. So imagine the games you're playing now, if you're playing Modern Warfare. Um, but you're capped at like 60 FPS or if it keeps dipping whenever a lot of stuff happens like an explosion happens and your frames dip all that is gone so I play Modern Warfare I get about 160 to 190 FPS for the most part sometimes it's above very rarely does it dip into like 130 range I got an RTX 2080 so it's a very good graphics card uh, i7 9700k so it's very good CPU and I gotta tell you when I hook up a controller man it's like the Mac is like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of consoles is <laughs> like the feeling that I get from it. Um, so it's everything that I'm, I've always been used to because I've, I've been playing games since like 90. God bless. What was it like 95? Yeah, it's when I got a Sega. So whenever Sega Genesis came out, it was, that was my first ever console. And before that, I used to play at my neighbor's house. So I've been using a controller for the majority of my life, like 24 years. And then I just recently got into this monster keyboard. So. Um, like I said, it's taking time, but overall, like if you if you're just new to the game or you think about switching to PC, um, I would say give both a try because this game has aim assist and it has like three different options. So I mean, people might make fun of you in the beginning, but when you outscore people and you're using a controller, it's kind of like oh, okay, all right, maybe this dude's serious. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like if you want more precision, you have the option to just switch over the mouse. You know, you just gotta go to the main menu and do it. Um, so it's like one of those things where that's the beauty of PC is that you can kind of decide. My goal is to get good enough with my movement that I can move better than I can on a controller with a joystick on my keyboard. So that's my goal because I can already aim like literally like twice as twice as well on PC when in comparison to my actual Xbox. So that's the end goal, man. Uh, if you got any tips for me? drop it in the comment section or if you use any specific aim trainers so i'm also trying to work on my aim just to get a little bit better overall in every type of game uh, drop it in the comment section i will catch you guys in the next video be easy
<laughs> I'm getting fucked up. They're like, they're like, look here, buddy. You had your fun. Alright, middle tracks. What, bro? Yeah. RPG five. Dude, I'm up in my spawn and shit, bro. There's a whole other map. I'm not even scared to here. Now you spawn me. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I hope I gotta play a game or something. Five star, I hope you know you did all that work. <laughs> That's a crazy, crazy. I had to after five star was running around. Yeah, I wish I had a fucking guy on my team like that. <laughs>